Welcome, Welcome back to the Cruise Brothers React. React. And we're getting right back into Hunter X Hunter, guys. Uh, a lot of you guys are continuing this sub versus dub argument thing. Uh, I'll tell you right now, one of the main reasons we watch the dub, why we recently been watching the dubs for animes, is because it's a lot easier for us to absorb all the information. I know a lot of you guys say, oh, but you talk over the English voices. Even if we're talking in the sub, it's still going to be hard, at least for me, to talk and read the subtitles at the same time. So I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but at least it's easier for us to absorb all the information, especially for new animes, like completely new that we're get just getting into. So that's one of the main reasons. But yeah. And disclaimer, um, guys, we do not dislike sub. We watched plenty of animes in the past and sub. We have no problem with it. We just prefer to watch it in dub because the dub is out you know yeah look at dragon ball super man we know that universe so well that we don't want to fucking wait we don't want to wait for the dub to catch up so we we just got used if to anything the... new ever comes out in the anime world and it's only a sub bless believe we will be reacting to it in sub so there you go guys <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the dub is available when we start watching it you know why not um but yeah guys more hunter uh someone said that this is not the last moment of this arc I, I was saying that before. It might be the the highlight. Yeah, of this they arc. made some points because like the arc. Because the reason I thought it was gonna be over is because the way they ended the last arc. I feel like the last arc ended with so much things on on like confront. Like I don't know. I felt like it was just so much shit left to to like go on after the last arc finished. So I didn't feel like that was the end of anything. Honestly, it really didn't feel like an end to me. So um, that's why I felt like this this arc would have been done without them explaining all that other shit because you know yeah only reason I said it was about to end is because I I probably in the back of my mind I was thinking like this is the highlight in the prime of this arc I think it's probably because it's, we, I'm we, thinking it is. we still have a lot of stuff to be explained like the crawl thing um, yeah. There's still a lot of stuff to go by. Well, guys, let's just get excited for this episode that we're about to watch. We left off with Gon, Kiloa, and Hisoka, the last people left against um, Razor. Against Razor. What's his name? One v three. You know, somebody was saying in the Patreon that um, I wonder if Hisoka will put the, um, this guy in his list of people he wants to fight. Oh yeah, true. That's how strong that, he is. That's that's the crazy thing. Hisoka was not like acting like his usual self. Like, oh, I want to fight this guy or get a chance to. I'm fight telling him. you, man. Like, for me, he's just playing around right now. I don't think this guy th takes him serious. I don't think it's him think playing Hisoka around. It's like him scared I mean, he's for still, life. Maybe no, he's know. still going. No, he's still trying. You know, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, he's like, hmm. fuck are you? It's just I like, never. Holy shit. I, 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 it's just I never seen him this serious about like a battle of some kind all right, all right, come with on. Let's, someone. Let's get into the episode with someone strong like that. So we've talked enough in this intro. Let's get into it. Oh, that's it. It takes power for him. He's not even at full oh. power. Oh. He's he divided up yes. his power. So this next throw will show us his true power. Yeah. Yo. That's why his that's why his clones can divide up like that because this Bro, is he his wasn't own power. Even at full power when he blocked Gon's attack. That was nothing to him. It's like his power. Is it was to... nothing. His, his you're nothing. His skill is to divide his power up into other beings or some shit. You're a piece of shit. You're nothing. What did you just say? You told me not to be loud. It's late. <laughs> Has anybody seen that viral video with that guy who was just like gunning the trumpet player? <laughs> He's like, you're nothing, you're a piece of trash, no talent. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're self-consumed, no talent, mediocre piece of shit. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Oh, He's man. Getting, He's getting excited. And does that mean He's buttering his joints. He's getting excited, but not like Hasoga excited, just like regular excited. His joints are buttered. Hey, over there. Whoa, whoa. Wait, they're going to... What the fuck is happening here? What is his position? Bro, what, what is going on here? It looks I like Asuka's about to do the deed. <laughs> Shut up, yeah. This battle determines the winner. Oh my god, they needed three people for this, yo. I mean, they're, they're putting their nun together. Holy Go shit. Hisoka traps it. And Kilo embraces it. They, oh yeah, my yo. god, that's hardcore. Damn, they thought of that shit without even talking to each other. I didn't see them talk to each other. <laughs> no, I think they, I think they, they figured did. this out. Yo, that's crazy. They all had a position for, to cast this. That's God, pretty, that was pretty hardcore. Damn. Three people needed to sustain his power. Got it. 
that, remember that was the thing. Step one is to get the ball, guys. Oh yeah, they did talk about it. I mean, yeah. they didn't. They didn't There's show them talking about it. But... My power. I need more power. Go on, go on. What are you gonna do, man? What can you do more. here? More power! Yes! Super Saiyan. How did you know? Like, I knew it. <laughs> he did it at the right I time. I knew it, bro. I'm telling you, <laughs> idiot. Yo, he's That's going Super Saiyan. I'm telling you. He wasn't using his full strength before. This is the strength of a Super Saiyan. They've never but discovered it. Yo, what is his power? This is not normal Nen. How is he getting stronger? He's a monster. <laughs> you should be proud, Gene. Dang. This kid's your son. You're There's seed. no doubt about it. Damn, imagine Jin's power. Hey, he gave it all to him. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. She better. Damn, yo. Oh my That's God. the offspring of a god. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Here we go. That's um like um I don't ja know the mythology in the Japanese version. I don't know the mythology enough to say who he is. He's Zeus, <laughs> the, the 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 son of um Odin. Shut up, yo. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. This music too. Stronger than I thought. <laughs> oh. I can catch it. Yo, you're gonna break your arms. The force will definitely push me out of bounds. Yo. So catching it's not an option, but I can't shy away either. What can he do here? He's about to try to do that shit he did last time. Come on. Ooh, he focuses it all. He's just gonna grab it, moron. You sure about that? That depends. God. Damn. He Ooh, he pushed it back at them. Yo, it's quick shit for going. He's about to what break his head. Do? That isn't how he wants to defeat me. No, God. Gone, don't do this. Oh, he's knocked out. He's knocked out. How did he get? Oh, he's my God. He's knocked out. Oh, my God. Of course he did. He used up He's all his men. <laughs> oh. He expended. Wow, he got lucky. Bro. You can take pride in this. How lucky. One, gone. What the? Not quite yet. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? He's a what are you doing? We must be flawless, right? Wait, what's going on? He's catching it! Then they're not gonna get the point! Oh, it's Soka's real power! Wait! He's reflecting it! <laughs> Look the momentum! Are we going to exchange bodies? <laughs> I told you Hisoka thought this thing was not. But he's both rubber and gum, you see. He can't what? bump it. He can't bump it because it's stuck to him. Because of the properties of the bungee gum. And he's out. That's <laughs> why Hisoka. I told you Hisoka don't. He ain't worried about this guy. He ain't getting put on no list. It's stupid. I'm telling you, man. Hisoka's better than him. <laughs> nah. Yo, that was crazy. In a real fight, I don't know, but still, Hasoko proved himself here. What happened at the very end? No. Go find G. Okay. <sighs> Where's Jean? That's crazy, yo. This guy's overcoming every obstacle that his father put in Seriously? his way. Seriously. <laughs> This is the place. And he knew he would be able to do it because Gon is confident in the, I mean, Jean's father is confident in his son. We just saw that from that scene. Now we got a little bit insight of how he feels about his son a little more. If you ask me, this is the greatest treasure of them all. About time, damn. I was like, Jesus what is going Christ. on? I wasn't following Fine. any of they that. Got the freaking car. I was about to I was just about to bring that up. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Didn't they just do this whole thing for a card? Where's the card? <laughs> I was gonna say that. Here we go. Ah, it's fucking, fucking bombers. Just, just whack ass squad. Just beat him up already. They're spying on them? Damn, he already knew. Oh, don't play dumb. So here's the deal. I promise to spare your lives. And you hand over the strip of beach in return. Hey, yo, these fucking cars are not easy to get, man. Just fucking kill him already, please. The people out here just stealing them, yo? I'd fucking kill myself if I was in this game. 
I hate this enemy so much. Make a deal, then come alone to Masadora's entrance gate in one hour. One of those three brats. I see you have wild luck, Alexandrite. I'll find you when I'm done with Tescara. No. Unless you want to give up the card now. Beat his ass already, man. I want you to beat his ass gone. <laughs> he said talk somewhere else. Don't even stand near gone. But go. He's the only one who can take what him out. What you did just now was selfish, but more than that, it was incredibly foolish. Talk some sense if into this kid. Your challenge and come, what would have happened to Kilowatt? He's been the this guy is experienced. Yeah, he's been gone has been acting like this for way too long. By losing control of your emotions, you endangered not only yourself but your friends too. He's learning. I'm really sorry. That aside, it will all come down to a company. If we can stave off their pursuit, we should be able to buy plenty of time. At least we're getting to a fight. Oh, some interesting stuff there, you know? Three weeks. Go, you're training. Go, you'll train with me. If we can just Damn, that is messed up. How are they gonna how are they gonna play Kilo like that? The, the most he's optimal just, way. Yeah. Just, yo, it's like damn. You gotta think optimally. I feel like Kilo doesn't even need to train. That's how skilled he is, honestly. And like on top of that, like Gon has been training without Kilo a mad times in this whole shit, and he's still on the same level as him. Yeah. That's how Gon is one of those people that have to train to get stronger. Kilo is one of the natural talent niggas that already have the strength. Pretty much. So That's how it is. Uh, you know. So uh, well, you Kilo will never fall behind. That's it. I know. I know we're gonna hear it in the comments, but this is the original. It is by Naruto, but another Naruto and Sasuke kind of. Um, character thing here. Anyway, so yeah, let's talk about the episode. The whole fucking beginning shit was hot. Let me just say right off the bat, 10 out of 10 on that shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and on top of that, let, let me say also... What about when, the other half? Let me say also when the whole volleyball thing happened and that was over with, um, I thought it was going to be whack after that because they're going to go back into the car shit and I just hate the bomber's face because I just want him to die already. <laughs> like I want that guy to die already. But anyway, uh, so like I, after I thought it was gonna be boring after that, but they actually had some pretty good storytelling there within the card thing, um, and how it's coming to an um a conclusion. And it was pretty cool to see that. There was um, a lot of good stuff in there actually. After the volleyball thing, everything is kind of a haste to me. I don't even know what's gonna happen at the end of this. It's probably not gonna be that exciting. So you wanna uh, go over what happened at the end there a little bit? Um, I, well, I talk, didn't follow exactly. Let's talk about more in the beginning part because that was the hottest part of the episode. Yeah, was the so highlight. let's talk about fucking Gon's dad. Freaking Gon's dad, we got a little bit insight on him. Not much, but we got something. Not a good father. He, we already know he's not a good father and he's a savage, but at the same time, he believes in his son. <sighs> That's what I got out How of that. How can you believe in someone? That's what I got out of that little flashback. How can you believe in someone who's not born yet or even growing up yet? Because he is a god and that's his offspring. Maybe when he talked to Razor, that was before, like, he dropped going off, and when he was born, that was old. Obviously. I know, after he was born. I mean, no shit, why would that be before he was born? Like, why would that make even sense? I don't know, he could've known that fucking, he was coming, what the hell? Whoever oh his God, mom is, man. could've been pregnant or whatever. But, that was definitely after, bro, but. So, there had to be something when Gon was born, like, he had to know something. That and also, I mean. He had to know something that Gon had like this amount of potential when he was born. If he was setting all this shit up, uh, like I, I, I just can't understand his father right now. Like I'm saying, there must have been some indication that Gon was gonna be this good or this powerful. Bro, it's not when that, man. You idiot. Look, Gene knows what he's capable of, so he knows that his son is gonna be capable of some shit too. It's the genes, man. It's <laughs> Look at his name. His name is Gene. It's the genes. <laughs> You idiot. Oh, anyway, I don't let me think just it works that way. Look, just shut up. Let me just let me just say what I was gonna say because I'm about to forget. Um, so uh, we also found out that um, Razor and Gene are not really friends in a way. Like we we thought they were like buddies who made the game together. This guy yeah. is only an, a GM because Gene believed in him and thought Before, that he could. What? So what's a GM? A game master. Oh, okay. come on, man. Know your <laughs> shit. Admin, whatever. Whatever you want to call him. Um, 
So yeah, pretty much Gene believed in him, so he promoted him to a game master, and he was a game master uh, in the game, and he pretty much was a convict who killed people, and he redeemed himself, I guess, by working for Gene and being a good citizen in the game. I don't know. Yeah, we can't see, we can't say that they're really not friends. We only saw one flashback. Yeah, true, because they could have a friendship after that, but at the same time, I feel like it wasn't like that. Like, they weren't like buddy-buddy. Actually, maybe they were. They, they it, it wasn't. It, it was there wasn't little, nothing there. So I don't there know. There was not much to go off, but like, like I said, that. all he said was, because I. That's the. That's how I felt how it went. Because when he was like, "Oh, don't go easy, on my son," he was like, heh. and he's like, um, what? Did he, I don't know what he said. Uh, can he I said, kill him? Oh yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Exactly. So he was like, "Come on, he don't care about him." Stupid. They, they're not the friends. Like that could have been when they met, though. So we don't know. What True. Happened. That's what I'm saying. There could have been something after, but either way, like I said, from what we saw. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, so the uh, half ended up the match. With the cards. No, wait. The match itself. Um, oh was, yeah, that shit was all good, man. It yeah. was all good ass action. <laughs> and and I just want to point out, um, you better put a flashback of when I fucking said that Hosoka was be gonna become a good guy or become an ally at least. Do you know? I don't when know. You said this. I don't. I said it on the episode where um they just finished the hunter exam. I'm telling you right now. I don't know what number it is, but I said it <laughs> anyway. So. Yeah, um, freaking Hisoka and them, they did some crazy ass teamwork, it was no joke. Um, I like how Hisoka basically That's respect- pretty much the new Team 7 right there. It's stupid as hell, shut up. <laughs> or the I, whole team, I like, the first Team 7. <laughs> I like how Hisoka like, respected Gon's wishes, I guess. Or maybe it was, a, he, he partly wanted to finish it that way too, but he said, no, we're not gonna win this way, we're not gonna let the ball fall out. And he uses bungee gum to throw that shit back at him. Like, the momentum bounced back and forth, and that's why it was so fucking... Yeah, I was, at that strong. point, I was kind of lost, so I didn't know what the hell you were saying. But I guess, like, it seemed like he was gonna... What What did it seem like? Because you were making it seem like he was gonna do something bad. No, I, I was making it seem like... You, you, he, you were making it seem like he was gonna oh, throw the match or something. No, well, I mean, it seemed that way. He was and throwing I don't know it back at him. They could have got the point if it fell out. When he th- uh, threw it, if he hit the ball and it fell out of bounds, then he's not getting the point. Is what I'm saying. Oh, so you thought he was just? Wait, what? They were going to win if if the ball didn't hit one of them and it just fell out. Why would they? Why would Hisoka catch it in the first place if that was the case? Because he said it, it wouldn't be a, a satisfying win or something like that. That's what he was saying in the show. You you listen. Oh, well, yeah, I know that, but... They were going to lose if he didn't... If, if, they, wait, they weren't going to lose? Didn't you just say they were going to win if he... If, oh, yeah, they were going to win if it fell out. I mean, yeah. But he used to go caught it, and I was like, what are you doing? So that's what I was saying. That's it. And he took a bounce to back. I was like, what the fuck? So, yeah, I guess Hisoka... And he used his bunch. actually gun. cooperated, and he's an ally now, so... And he even said, like, hit me up if you guys got something else going on besides fucking gathering cards like some little fucks. Yeah, and they made it seem that way. If anyone was going to throw the match, it would have been Hisoka. Uh, but yeah, besides all that, we get into this card discussion thing that went yeah. one, one, one year out the other. Yeah, let me explain because I don't you, know what the fuck was. Anyway, so, uh, all right, so they get the card. The bomber already knows that they got the card because of the, the people that entered with them who left before the volleyball thing. They so pretty much... Them. These people who left gave them all the information that happened up until before the volleyball thing. Like, all the information up to the volleyball thing, they weren't there for the volleyball thing. They were already left after that. So they didn't get any information after that. So that might have been why they thought that... Because there, there was a misconception somewhere where they thought... Where I guess the bomber thought that Gon has the card, but they actually have a clone of the card, and the Gentru really has the card. It was some ex- confusing stuff like that. It yeah. was something like that. But um, let me just keep going. Um, so that happened, and um, the whole thing with Gon happened, where he put his people in danger, or whatever. And Gentru was actually act- acting like a um, kind of like a mentor to Gon and Kilua. Not um, a mentor, really, but not like a mentor. He, not he, a mentor. But he was pretty much like putting them, in, well, not putting them in place because Bisky already did that. But correcting their dumb actions. That's yeah, what he was doing. He really. was just pretty much. Um, he's an experienced person. He, you can tell he's a leader by how he is. He carries himself. I guess so. Yeah. But um, besides that, uh, 
Also, he was he was with the guy who was you know selling the game console and all that shit too. Like he he knows this game. But anyways, besides that, for the first time we see Gon actually reflecting on how he acts because he's been acting like this through the entire series and no one's told him shit about it. Uh, but for the first time, his temper and like him being passionate or whatever about what he believes in. I mean, got put in check with the reality of the situation. They were all injured. Yeah, you know? Gon could be selfish sometimes. We all know that. But so past that, onto more of the card thing. Um, so that whole thing happened. Um, so Genthru pretty much was saying we have an advantage because they think you have the card, but when you really don't, or something like that. So they proposed that they will hold on to the card and I guess um, evade the bombers as much as they can. So that he won't get the card because right now the bombers are after Gentru and because he wants the card. So he already okay, told so them that. All they're doing is buying Gon time. They're buying him time, for, and for then apparently Gentru is like, "Oh, if it comes to you know, we can't run forever. If it comes to that, I have a, I have a stalling method or something like that." They didn't explain what it was. Um, but yeah, it it was a whole deal. Like if he gave them time, he'll get a card from Gon and Killua. Uh, they made a whole trade, uh, for I guess stalling for time. That's what happened, right? That no, but it was the end was for them to give them the card or something like that, so they can finish the game together. I'm not sure how that was gonna work because they were. Um, he was saying that in the end of the week to give them the card. So it was something like that. I forgot. I missed that part at the end, but like I okay, said, that's what the Patreon came for, and they help us out. Let's not talk about what we don't know, okay? Bro, well, we talked um, about mainly the main parts of what just happened in the card thing. Yeah, but anyway, we I don't know over. some a lot of that shit. Um. But yeah, overall it was a it was a good episode. I just honestly I just wanted to see it conclude because I this was my the biggest memory for me in this arc. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. It might be hot, you know. Maybe I just don't remember it. But we're gonna have to wait and see. Personally, I'm not expecting too much. Not too excited. The bomber guys are kind of whack to me. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button to show your support and subscribe if you're new here. Hit the bell notification to get notified when we upload these videos and you know block reactions they're all over in this series so if you want to go see the block reactions they're up on our patreon for a dollar pledge in full length and we also post them earlier we post the reactions earlier than on youtube so good benefits for a dollar man go social your support in the description also in the description merch we got the master predictor shirt chris claims to be the master predictor i He's am made some predictions you this, guys will see he made some predictions this episode so Go show support, man. The shirt is really cool. I think it looks I cool. I am the master. He's been wearing Buy it. Buy the shirt! He's been wearing it every day. Uh, uh, yeah, episode. this shit's starting to stink. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, nah. Yeah, it doesn't stink, guys. Right. I'm a clean mother. Anyway. Let's try to promote it. Guys, remember to follow us on Twitter so we can keep you updated oh, with yeah. uh, stuff. Everything on um, Twitter, we'll keep you updated when we like post or when we uh, watch an episode. Yeah, man. Like after every episode, we will post on the Twitter and give our reactions of what we thought of the episode. I keep forgetting. So. There's so much to promote now. The shirt, the Come Twitter. Come man. You got to stay on point, man. Stop touching me, yo. Come on. I tell them every day, you gotta, man. You got to promote your your shirt. That's your shirt. I'm okay? an idiot, man. You did it already for me. What the hell you want me to do? <laughs> Asshole. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. We love you. Peace. That's it, man.